Okay, so come and lie onto your back. We're going to lie all the way down with legs outstretched today. So just stretching out long, take a moment to settle in. So got your feet a little bit separated so your thighs can roll open. Arms relaxed just at your sides while you get used to lying all the way down on your back and adjusting your head so you can settle in comfortably. Just a couple of breaths, really dropping in. And then you could keep your arms at your sides or you might choose to have one hand on your chest or on your lower ribs and the other hand on your belly. So just whichever way around you want to do it, wherever you can still be relaxed. Let the shoulders drop wide and open. And if you've got your hands on your body, you can start to feel the movement of your breath. Taking a scan from head to toe, feeling around the neck area, the shoulders, whether there's any tightness around the shoulders today, or maybe around the chest or ribs. Relaxing around the torso, notice what you feel in the lower back, if there's any tightness here, particularly with your legs out straight, usually we have them bent up, so you may find that the, the spine is lifting away from the ground a little more than normal. And scanning down both legs. Let's give the toes a wriggle, spread them open. Just letting yourself drop in nice and heavy. And all we need to do here is tip the head over to one side and just rest there for a bit. And then over to the other side. Coming back through centre. Now bring your hands onto your hips. So fingers onto the front of the hips, wrapping thumbs around the back. And here we're going to tip the pelvis. So we'll start by lifting the belly and let your back arch away from the ground. So tipping the pelvis forward and then drawing the belly in towards the spine and trying to press your lower back down into the ground and feel your pelvis tip back. So tipping up, so belly lifts. And then tipping the other way, pressing the lower back into the ground. You might find that the legs move a little. Just a couple more times. Tip and lift away from the floor and then pull in one more time might feel best to breathe in as we are lengthening up through the front of the body and then to breathe out all the way out all the way out as we pull in and push the lower back into the ground now just let everything relax and find a neutral position. Okay, so we can kind of feel the position halfway in between. So we're not arching and we're not punching. And then keeping your hands on your hips to maintain the stable position. So you may even find that there's just a little bit of tension in the abdominals to hold this position. We're going to lift one knee up and then send the leg high. Try and do it without tipping the pelvis one way or the other and then slowly lower it out long. Just hover to where you can and then let it land. 
So it takes a bit of effort to try and maintain this position in the pelvis. A little bit of tension in the belly. Drawing the other knee up. Send the leg high. Float the leg out long, just where you can. So there might be some real tension creeping in now or even at the front of the hip. And lower down. We're going to do it one more time each side. Now, if there is any pain in your lower back, then do it with your knees bent up. Okay, but we're going to try, if possible, if there is no pain, try and do it with your legs long. So holding the pelvis in position, first knee comes up. Still mindful of the position of the hips. Extend the leg high, float it out long. So a lot of control needed here. And then let it land. One more time. Ending up, extend, go long. Hover for a moment and then touch down. Let everything relax again. Couple of breaths. All right, now bring your knees up. Bring both knees up. Gather knees up towards your chest. Just gently hug them in. So this time we're going to allow the lower back to press into the ground. So you might feel kind of lengthening through the lower back. And then tipping your chin towards your chest. Let's lift the head, let's lift the shoulders, move your chest towards your thighs. So hug up close. And then slowly release back down. Lifting with your next out breath. So take a breath first. And as we lift, breathing out, all the way out. Breathing in as we lower. Full breath in. Lifting off. Breathing out slowly. And down. And we're going to do this one more time. Lifting with the out breath. and release down with control. Bring your feet to the floor. Keep your knees at hip width apart, arms down the sides of your body, and let's lift the hips off. So try not to lift so high that you flare your ribs open. It's not really about how high you're getting today. We want to try and maintain that long spine. So we're still slightly engaging through the abdominals and we want that little pelvic tilt where the tailbone lengthens down. When I say down, it's kind of relative to the position that we're in. <laughs> Who knows what is up and what is down here. And lower. Let's do this two more times. Just move really slowly with control. So push down into your feet. Feel that little pull in of the abdominals and that slight tilt of the pelvis as we lift off. And then lowering back down. And finally, one last time. If you're taking it slower than me, it's fine. You can just take as long as you want to. And slowly release. Coming down to land. Let the glutes relax. Just move arms a little bit wider. Drop knees over towards one side. Maybe turn your head to the opposite direction if you like and over to the other side. Coming up through center. All right, gather knees up and take hold behind your thighs. We're going to rock our way up a few times before we come up to seated. So lifting the feet for a bit of momentum, we'll lift Part way up, lie back, 
rolling through the spine. Try and balance at the top if you can. And this will be our last one. Come on up to a seated position, cross legs. Take a moment readjusting to being upright. So settle yourself in. Couple of breaths here. Now cupping hands onto knees. We're going to push the belly forward, press your chest forward and shoulders back. And then pull in through the belly, scoop and round out. Pressing your chest and belly forward, pull shoulder blades back and down. And then pulling in so you can feel the way the pelvis is tipping forward and back, just like when we were lying on our backs. and then settle into a neutral position so close your eyes and see if you can sense for yourself where that is so we're not popping forward we're not hunching back we're trying to align as much as possible so you can hold on to your knees especially if you feel like you're falling backwards if this is a really challenging position for you but try and find the position where your breath moves with the most ease where you feel like you're not restricting your breath in any way. And then we'll release the hands and breathe in as we float arms all the way up to the top. Come down the sides and touch fingertips to the floor. So with your in-breath, float arms up. Try and maintain your strong posture here. So we want to keep just that little bit of tension in the abdominals. So we're not completely relaxing, but we are always trying to find ease in our poses. So minimal effort, but still creating stability. Now this last one we'll hold at the top. And then float one hand to the side. Let's bring it over for a side stretch. Breathe to the top. And over to the other side. Breathe to the top. Now this time, we're going to reach one arm forward and one arm back. Okay, so it might not be all the way back. You might find that you're kind of at the diagonal depending on your shoulder rotation, your range of movement. To the top and open to the other side. <clears throat> so make sure you're not popping your posture forward or back. Come to the top. Side stretch again. With your in-breath floating up. With the out breath, come to the other side. Good way to warm up, feeling really warm in the shoulders now. Rotate, one arm forward, one arm back. And one more time. It's a lot of work for the shoulders. Rotate, reach forward and back. Okay, just float your arms up and then down your sides. Give them a little bit of a shake out. And then come and turn over onto hands and knees. And we're making our way up to down dog, so I'm gonna take my socks off for that, just so I've got a little bit more grip. Okay. So from your hands and knees, plant your hands, tuck toes under, and lift your hips up and back. All right. So, as usual, we're going to start by focusing on lengthening up through the torso. So there might be a bit of a bend in the knees until you find your posture. 
again, we don't, <clears throat> excuse me, we don't want to be dropping through and losing all of the control in our posture. We also don't want to be lifting out of it and hunching. So our focus is on just finding the right tip, the tilt of the hips of the pelvis. And just feeling that alignment from the tailbone out to the crown of the head. So I'm not worried about how bent the knees are or how high the heels are. Just breathe into the pose. Now, floating forward into a high plank position. Keep coming all the way forward. Feel the shoulders kind of brace to hold strong. And then lift your hips up and back. Going forward, set your strong plank position, then pull the hips back. Let's do this one more time, floating forward and pulling back. Now we'll take a lot of little steps to come into our forward fold. So take lots and lots of steps to get there. And finally, landing in your forward fold. So let's loosen up now. Maybe sway from side to side if it feels good. Hold on to elbows if that's comfortable for you. Let your head really loosen up. Neck and shoulders. Spread your toes open. So pressing into the big toes and right down to the pinky toes. loosen up arms and we'll slowly rise all the way up to standing so curl on up through the spine keep coming all the way up feel everything stack upon itself and then keep floating arms all the way to the top Come down centre just for a moment to reset everything. So feeling your posture, close your eyes if you want to. Feel the alignment of your body, whether your hips are coming forward or back. Maybe you've got a slight bend in the knees. Get a sense of lengthening down through the tailbone and lifting up through the belly so we're not tipping the hip, hips forward and of course we're not hunching we just want to be nicely aligned somewhere in between okay just like we did when we were in a seated position still maintaining this strong posture so we've got that little bit of tension in the belly still got nice vertical alignment so standing tall but also open and slightly relaxed let's bring in the arms so we'll sweep arms all the way to the top coming into a side stretch so you could bring your hand to your hip or you could float the arm down even step feet a little bit wider if you just need a, a wider foundation floating both arms up come over to the other side Okay, so trying to maintain our posture here. Even if it means that your arms are slightly forward, let's come to the first side again. So you, your arms might be here, just slightly forward of you, depending on your overhead range. Okay, so we don't want to be pulling the shoulders back and then losing our posture. Coming to the other side. Floating up to the top. This time we'll just have a slight bend in the knees so that we can maintain our posture. Let's keep the hips where they are, rotate from the middle of the spine and the shoulders and maybe the head too. One arm forward, one arm back. Rise to the top. Turn to the other side. Noticing if you end up dropping back into the heels a bit. Floating up. Let's come to the first side again. and rise and to the other side 
Okay, let's come on up. This time we'll dive all the way down into our forward fold. Step the right foot back into a lunge. Sweeping arms high. Bend the back knee. Keep drawing in through the belly so we're not losing the integrity of our posture. So dropping right in. Let's see if we can take it even deeper. Could you even get a sense of aligning from the knee to the hip to the shoulders, out to the fingertips, keep dropping right in. And then straighten up, lengthen that back leg, bring both hands to the floor, step feet back into a down dog. Roll your body forward into a plank. Shift your weight all the way forward. So really lengthen your body. Then push up and back. Bend your knees and spring the right foot through into a lunge. Sweep arms up. Dip the back knee, pull the belly in. Let's drop on nice and low, so hopefully we ended up in a lunge on the other side. Come a little bit deeper. And then shifting forward and step in this time to your forward fold. Bring hands up to shins, lifting halfway up. Still focusing on that lovely posture in all of our poses. Sit hips back and down, sweep arms up, just to where you can without making a banana with the spine. Drive down into your heels as we rise. Stretch up tall here and dive into your forward fold. Just gonna repeat that same thing again. Right foot back into your lunge, sweeping arms high. Dip the back knee, pull in through the belly, come even deeper. Okay, so it's a good stretch for that back foot as well as we come high onto the big toe. And then shifting forward, plant your hands down, step both feet back, downward facing dog. Roll your body forward into a plank and then keep coming forward, coming as far as you can. Push into hands to drive back. Right leg forward again, so we end up on the other side. Arms high. Dip the back knee. Keep coming as low as you can. Even lower, so we're still tipping the pelvis, pulling in through the belly, so you could be getting a big stretch up through the quad muscle or the hip flexor. Drop a little bit deeper. And then shift forward, come into your forward fold. Halfway lift, sit hips back and down, sweep arms high, drop a little bit deeper, breathe to the top and dive all the way forward. Let everything hang out, hold on to your elbows or just let your arms hang loose. Move if you want to, swaying from side to side. bring fingertips to the floor step your right foot back this time we're going to lower the back knee down climb on up to your thigh so make sure you're containing through the front of the body so rather than hanging in here you may find that by focusing on your posture you end up sitting a bit higher in the pose but if you can get that tilt in the pelvis then you can push into a much stronger Stretch at the front of the right hip. Sweep the arms up. Even try pressing into the top of that back foot. That can help with your balance too. Now, left arm. So, got the left leg forward. So, it's the left arm. Floats down. You can bring hand to your hip. Or you could float fingers down. And it's bringing a side stretch. So, it's really important to make sure you're not putting any pressure in the lower back. Okay, straightening up, both arms over here, bring hands to the floor, tuck the back toes under, lift the knee, 
Let's step into our forward fold and just switch sides. So the other foot steps back. Make sure it's a big long step so that when you bring your knee down and flatten the foot, that we've got the heel right the way forward. Okay, let's come on up. So find your posture here, that little tilt of the hips, a little bit of tension in the abdominals. So see if you can access that big stretch at the front of the hip there, or maybe it's into the quad muscle, depending on where you're tight. Breathe arms high. And it's come into our side stretch. So we've either got hand on the hip or we're letting the hand float down. And let's come on over. Just show you from side on. Straightening arms up. And bring hands to the floor. Tuck the back toes under, lift that back knee and let's step back into our down dog. Pressing into hands, pushing hips back. Feel that length from the crown of the head up to the tailbone. Hold and breathe. And then bring both knees down and scoot one leg under as we come and take a seat. So knees press open, hands come back. Let your chest press forward, let the shoulders come back. Push the knees down and open. And then we'll draw it in through the belly. Float hands forward to your shins, depending on how far you want to come forward. Maybe a bit further if you want to reach to your feet. Lengthen your chest forward and just breathe. All right, come on up, bring these together and we're lying down onto our backs again. Doesn't matter which way you're facing. Okay, so we're going to keep the knees bent up this time. Feet spread open, spread your toes, drop in. Let's come into some bridge poses again. So before we even start to lift, as soon as you start thinking about lifting, you might notice the way the pelvis tilts as we start to engage around the belly and then keep moving into it. So we're engaging the glutes. That's going to help to keep this tilted pelvis so that we're not making a banana with the lower back. So pushing hips high, thinking about lengthening from knees, no, shoulders out to knees, and lower back down again. Let's do this three more times with the option of bringing in the arms as well. So as we lift off, arms come straight up at your sides and all the way over here and release back down again. Rise again. So just bringing the arms to where they will go without any strain so they may not quite make it to the ground over here. Don't worry if they don't get there. It's not about that. And we'll make this one our last one. You can take it slower if you want to. Keep pushing hips high, squeeze the glute muscles, and then lower down. If you're still moving, that's fine. But eventually when you're done, drop knees over to one side, head turns to the opposite direction. And then over to the other side. Coming up through center, extend, Let's go right leg high, 
So you can have a little bit of a bend in the knee. Make sure the back of the hips stick to the floor. And holding behind your thigh or behind your calf, that's your choice. Try and keep a lot of power in the leg. So we're not just fully relaxing and gathering the leg in. We want to stay strong through the leg and just keep the hands light. If you want to, you could slide the other leg out long. Just make sure there's no tension creeping into the lower back. Now holding the leg in the opposite hand, slide your right hand down to your hip and just move the leg a little way across as far as you can without lifting this hip off the ground and see if you can find a stretch down the outside of the leg. So flexing the foot if that helps to bring more intensity to the pose. And then keep coming all the way over. So legs either stays out long. You might also like to bend up the bottom leg or you could bend both knees together. So choose your own variation here, the one that feels best to you. If there's any discomfort in the lower back, then you may find bending that lower leg is going to help the most. Head wherever your neck is comfortable. Let shoulders fall heavily into the ground, relaxing around your throat and chest. through center, the top leg is long, you can keep that straight as you lift it up and switch to the other side. So left leg comes high, hold wherever you feel comfortable, down lower up high. Shoulders drop away, so we're not using any effort from the upper body. We are strong through the torso, we are anchored through the hips. might even feel good to make the lifted leg a bit stronger to feel a deeper stretch. And if you want to, if you can stay stable through the torso, then slide out the bottom leg. Just make sure your lower back isn't lifting too far away from the ground. Holding in the opposite hand, move the leg just across your midline, doesn't have to be too far. You might use your hand to hold your hip in place. over, see where that bottom leg wants to come to, maybe just soften a bit or bend right up. Choose a good position for this top leg and the other arm falls away. Turn your head wherever you like and just breathe.
Take your time coming back up through center. Bring both knees up towards your chest and just hug them in. And then choose where you want to be for the last few minutes of our class. Either legs bent or stretch them out long. So if you're starting with your legs extended out long, just notice if you feel any different compared to when you first came to this position today. You can have arms at your sides or one on the belly, one on the lower ribs or and on your chest. Just feeling your breath, sensing this movement. Let your body relax deeper with every out breath. Each time the breath releases. Just notice that little softening down with the muscles. Letting your body feel heavy. Always searching for ease in your posture. Staying as you are for a few long breaths. Make them as smooth and slow as you can. As we start to bring in some movement again, let's start with toes and ankles, fingers and wrists. Working your way into a full body stretch. <coughs> and then bring knees up towards your chest, hands on top. And just depending on how you're feeling, you could roll onto your side and make your way up, or you could bring hands behind your thighs and rock your way up and down a few times. Finally, coming up to a seated position. Cross legs to finish. Drop into your pose. Feel the vertical alignment of your body. Feel the most easeful position for your breath to move in your body without any restriction. And let's all finish with one last breath together. Arms open and rise to the top. Really stretch up high. Hands touch, come down your center to your heart space to finish. <laughs>